In this video, we are going to show you the main indicators used in laboratory. Welcome to Science A Plus to another episode of Science Practicals. What is an indicator? Well, it is a chemical compound that is used to identify acid and bases. Now let's see them in action. Here are some of the main indicators. This is methyl orange and yes, it's orange in color. This is phenolphthalein. Can you see its color? It's colorless solution. Both these indicators come as powder and we use them as solutions in experiments. Let's see the pH paper. It comes as a collection with a reference to its color changes. So, it can be used to precisely identify the pH of a solution. Now, here comes the litmus papers. There are two sets of them. The blue litmus and the red litmus. Before understanding the indicators, let's be familiar with the acids and bases. Here we have sulfuric acid in dilute form. Diluted hydrochloric acid can be used as well. For the basic solution, we are using diluted sodium hydroxide solution. You might have noted that all these solutions are colorless. Let's see how we can differentiate an acid solution and a base solution by using the indicator phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein itself is a colorless solution. Phenolphthalein turns into pink in sodium hydroxide solution. The indicator stays colorless in hydrochloric acid solution. This is the pink color phenolphthalein gives in basic solutions like sodium hydroxide. Next, we are going to differentiate an acid solution and a basic solution by using the indicator methyl orange. Methyl orange as the name implies is an orange color solution. Methyl orange turns into yellow in sodium hydroxide solution. The indicator turns red in an acidic solution. Next, we are going to differentiate an acidic solution and a basic solution by using the indicator litmus papers. Let's start with adding few drops of sodium hydroxide onto the litmus papers. Basic solution does not cause a color change in blue litmus. But red litmus changes its color into blue. Now let's repeat the experiment with the acidic solution. Acidic solutions does not cause a color change in red litmus. But blue litmus changes its color into red. So the take home message is red color of litmus papers turns into blue color in basic solutions. And blue color litmus papers turn into red color in acidic solutions. Let's see how we can differentiate an acidic solution and a basic solution by using the indicator pH paper. pH value ranges from 0 to 14. 0 is for strong acids. 14 is for strong bases. 7 is for neutral solutions. Colors like red, orange and yellow suggest an acidic pH, whereas color like blue Purple suggests a basic pH. The exact pH of the solution can be assessed by matching with the color of the pH paper with the reference book. Now, let's see pH paper in action. In contact with the basic solution like sodium hydroxide, pH papers change its color from yellow to blue. In contact with an acidic solution like hydrochloric acid, 
pH papers change its color from yellow to orange. To get the exact pH number, match the color of the pH paper with the colors provided in the reference book. That's everything for this episode. Please check out our other videos in the playlist and don't forget to share this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you.